Ooh, tender, tender. Maybe I should cut the app on. Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off. Another day, another adventure, another day, another country, yo. Right now I am in Sofia, Bulgaria, and this place looks really, really cool. First thing I did when I arrived here, after I, you know, connected to the Wi-Fi at the hostel, I wanted to, um, I, I was really craving Chinese food, so the first thing I did was went to Google Maps and typed in Chinese food, and I found this Chinese place that was pretty close, and then I was walking around looking for currency exchange because I had to exchange some money to pay for the hostel because they did not accept credit cards, which is kind of a bummer. If I would have known that, I, I probably would not have stayed at, stayed at the place that I stayed in. And as I was walking around looking for currency exchange, which was kind of a hassle, when I walked out of the hostel, I should have went this way on, on this street, but instead I went the other way. And I walked around for like 20 minutes and didn't find any currency exchange. I didn't want to go to an ATM because I didn't want to have to pull out like a... Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, wow, this is a pretty vicious dog. So I didn't want to go to the ATM to pull out um, like $100 of the local currency because I didn't know if I would, would use the local currency and I also didn't want to pay the ATM fees. So to make a long story short, I did find some currency exchange, but as I was walking around looking for currency exchange, I found a loving hut. It's like a vegan chain that, that's in about 30 different countries around the world. I've actually visited vegan hut in about 15 different countries. And usually the first thing I do when I go to a different country is check out the Happy Cow app and I probably would have found this restaurant if I would have did that. But anyway, this restaurant is super close, so let's go over, have some yummy vegan food. And anyway, yo, let's get this video started. All right, there we have it, Love and Hut. I cross my fingers that they have vegan steak at this location. Okay, all right, they got a slice of pizza here. Let's make this disappear. Just left Loving Hut. It was pretty awesome, that slice of pizza. The guy refused to let me pay for it, so that was really nice. This was um, after I told him I'd been to lots of vegan huts around the world. He was pretty impressed. Check out this statue here. This looks like some sort of museum. Wow, this looks really cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is continue walking this way and just go explore like the city center area at night. But once again, that statue is pretty big. <laughs> there are just tons of statues around. This is a beautiful park. Just don't know where to go next. Oh, check out that church up ahead. I'll probably go explore it tomorrow more in the daytime. Wow, I like that artwork there. Looks pretty cool. So one thing I noticed, I see a lot of people, you know, walking down the street having a beer. So I just popped into a shop and just asked the guy, hey, is it um okay to drink on the street? He says, yeah, yeah, it's fine, so. Got me a cold beer, got me a good old Bulgarian beer. Can't exactly read what it says, but it's pretty tasty. I tell you, some of these shops sell the most random stuff. So you see swimsuits next to children's shoes, next to an urn, next to a blender, next to adult shoes next to random stuff for the house i don't know i'm just trying to figure it out <laughs> getting that hustle on and you need a fan you need a toaster <laughs> this looks like one of the main drags here and i also see the american embassy over there which is mcdonald's <laughs> oh, this place looks really really cool it looks very very modern I'm trying to figure out what are these things. It's like it looks like a big leaf, but it's not. Maybe it's just architect. Okay, as I'm sitting back editing this video, I believe I figured out what those big round things, the big things on the city center street was. 
I believe they are some sort of, um, they're there for vines to grow and then vines will provide shade underneath. This is just my guess, they did look pretty new. So I'm thinking there's something similar to like this thing here, how you have like vines growing on like this metal piece of area and then it provides lots of shade for underneath. And it's natural shade, it's not like you're, you're putting like a piece of plastic over it and every couple years you have to replace the plastic, it's like a natural shade. I don't know, I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I feel like Sofia is one of those hush-hush cities because I don't hear anybody talking about this place. And I've just been here for like a day and it, this place looks really awesome. Like it's really beautiful, it's really peaceful. It's, um, it just doesn't remind me of the, the northern countries that I've been to along this trip. On, on this trip, I started off in Ukraine, then Moldova, and Romania. And here in Sofia, it just has a completely, completely different vibe. It's a very, very modern, very... It's like modern, and then some things are like sort of old school. Like you see these cobblestone streets here. But I feel that um, this city is a hidden gem. I want to say that this city feels like it could be the next Prague or this could be the next Budapest. I'm loving the vibe here. Wow, that mannequin is fresh, yo. Okay, so to wrap this video up, my first night in Sofia. Wow, I love Sofia. What an amazing place. It is so much different from Bucharest. So I don't, don't really want to talk about Bucharest in this video because this is a video talking about Sofia, Bulgaria. Where Bucharest was the last place that I traveled from and I just noticed a massive difference. It almost reminds me of the time I left Milan, Italy and went to Zurich, Switzerland. Like it was, it was almost like a culture shock, like how different things was. And it's so amazing that I only took like, what, a six or seven hour bus ride and, and things are just so much different. Like it's just a completely different place. And the vibes here are just amazing versus, I don't know, I'm not saying that Bucharest was a bad place. And maybe from my videos, people think that, oh, Jermaine hates Bucharest. I actually don't hate Bucharest. It was just, um, you know, a couple unusual things happened there. And, and I don't, just because it happened in one particular city, I'm not judging the entire country. No, that's not what, I, that, 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 that's not what I'm all about. But, you know, if I do have a blast in a place, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know. And if I don't like a place, maybe I'll tell you the things that I don't like about the place, but maybe I won't say, oh, I hate the entire place. But anyway, I just thought I would wrap up this video the first night in Bulgaria. You know, honestly, I was kind of nervous about coming to Bulgaria for the first time because, you know, just traveling throughout Eastern Europe, things have been very, very different. Also, back in the day, I had this hotel job and I used to work with this guy from Bulgaria and I just had this envision that everyone from B Bulgaria is just like that guy I worked with. And that's totally not true. It's totally not true at all. But uh, yeah, let's wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.